Are you ready? Are you ready? Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about more perfumes, more problems. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. To be quite honest, I was just crying like an hour ago because the two videos that I filmed back to back amazing video great quality everything went smoothly i went over to edit the videos to post today or for today and i realized that there was no volume and i don't know how it happened no volume on both videos the first video was 27 minutes long second second video was 35 minutes long so i spent nearly an hour on these videos and there is no volume the way i busted out <laughs> screaming and crying at the same time was a very uh, it, it was an out of body experience for me because i've had things happen to me in terms of content creation but not like this i was just really upset but if you're new here my name is abby i don't usually complain i usually just make videos about perfumes and i do vlogs every now and again so welcome to my channel i hope you guys enjoy i hope you subscribe i hope you like this video i hope you stick around so i actually wanted to do this video because a few of my subscribers have asked me to do a curated perfume collection video. Now, for me, there's so, so many new releases. It's overwhelming. It's a lot at the moment. E.g., the new Jackie Aina perfume. She has four. Um, we've got the new Kayali. We've got Fragrance du Bois. Like, so many brands are bringing out perfumes, as they should. It's a business. But as consumers, it can get a little bit too much, a bit overwhelming. This is why I'm here to give you 10 perfumes. You don't have to get all 10 of them. You don't even have to get none of them. But at least you can use that to help you when you want to create or curate your perfume collection. So let me just kick it off by speaking very briefly about the new Jackie Aino perfumes. And I'm just going to log on to her website now and see the notes i've seen lots of reviews i've listened to lots of reviews about the perfumes um and i'm very proud of jackie like well done to jackie congratulations but i'm kind of i'm kind of bitter yes i am i'm bitter because we can't get this in the uk these perfumes are not coming to the uk as of right now anyway maybe this is going to change in the near future but we are not even going to get to sniff this perfume so I'm just going to do a blind review of what I think I would like and what I feel about the whole collection. It's going to be brief. Don't worry. Um, and also, a few of you guys have asked me, oh, are you going to get it, Abby? No, I'm not because I can't get it. You know, so I'm going to start with the one that most people seem to really love, which is I am her. Now, this is sold out um, on Jackie's website, forevermood.com. However, you can still get it on Sephora, I think. It may be sold out by now because I know literally everyone and anyone wanted to get this perfume. Now, I Am Her sounds like a really simple scent. It's described as a warm and sweet gourmand. It's got notes of red velvet, pear, and oud. The packaging for me is okay, but it does remind me of the, um, you know, the Avon perfumes, Perceive. I'll leave a picture somewhere on the screen. It reminds me of that. So, I'm not really sure about the originality of the packaging. Doesn't take anything away from me. I'm just not sure it's original enough for our first perfume. And to be honest, I would have liked her to release one and see how that goes instead of four. But maybe she's did, she thought to do four because of the layering, because she does layer um, a lot of her perfumes. And right now in the fragrance community, layering is a huge thing. So maybe that was a thought process. But anyhow, I am her sounds to me like a regular sweet perfume doesn't sound like anything that's going to be groundbreaking it kind of gives me a young girl vibe like i don't feel like a grown woman would want to wear these perfumes i could be wrong but i'm just thinking of my circle of friends um would they wear this perfume i don't see that but i showed it to my daughter and she loved the packaging she was like oh my gosh this is so nice so i'm feeling like this is giving gen z vibes in terms of the packaging the look it almost kind of gave me a vibe of what um kkw perfumes were going for like the kim kardashian perfume brand was going for but that's just 
that's just off of what I'm seeing. So please don't come for me. Just off of what I'm seeing, my honest, genuine opinion. Um, like I said, I'm salty <laughs> that we're not going to get to smell this in the UK. But if it was here, I definitely would buy it. I'll buy it at least for the support purposes because I love to support women. And I think Jackie is doing amazing things. The next one is the NDA, which I suppose is non-disclosure agreement. <laughs> um, but this one, also saw that on the website is described as a spicy gourmand it's got notes of spiced rum tonka bean and tobacco flour now this intrigues me because of that rum and the tobacco flour i feel like it's going to be a little bit more elevated a little bit more mature not old smelling but i feel like it will be the most womanly of the bunch um the next one is the you remind me now you remind me is giving skin scent like it's described as a fresh floral and it's got um apricot skin orange blossom and sensual musk so i'm just i feel like it's gonna be like your skin but better it's the least um it's the one i'm least interested in out of all of them so the last one is called hard to get now this one is described as a fruity floral and it's got notes of um zest sheer jasmine whipped vanilla citron zest to be accurate um this is giving like the most maybe freshest of the bunch again this one doesn't appeal to me in any way i love the color of the bottle but i just feel like it's gonna be a freshie and i'm not really that into fresh perfumes but from the looks of things She's got something for everyone. You know, if you like the sweet gourmand, if you like the fresh, if you like the sexy, spicy, boozy, she's got everything for everybody, to be fair, which is a really good thing. So, Jackie, if you're watching this, we want to smell your perfumes here in the UK. Please make it available on sephora.co.uk and I would absolutely love to smell it just for just for the curiosity of it all. But that's all I've got to say about Jackie's perfumes. Now, let's move on to... My lipstick first of all i'm wearing the uda beauty um miss america this is it i've had this for a while i don't know if they still do it anymore but this i've not topped up i wore this since two o'clock this afternoon and it's quarter to 11 in the evening and i've not topped it up i've eaten i've drank it's still there so this is really really gorgeous if you can get it go ahead and get it it's giving like an orangey red which i really really love oh just while we're still on the topic of huda beauty there's a new perfume called easy bake that is coming out um i think it's already out actually do you guys want me to review this perfume would you like me to buy it <laughs> because I love the scent of the Easy Bake powder. I think it's so nice. So they've put that into a perfume form. So this will be the first perfume from Uda Beauty. I know like Mona is um, Uda's sister and Kayali and Uda Beauty are kind of like an intertwined type of business because I feel like because they're all family, everything kind of stays in the family. So I'm pretty sure Mona has an input in this. And I feel like it's going to be really cool to just smell this perfume. Now this has a note of um lush pear tuberose infusion tuberose scares me and vanilla madagascar and it's described as a creamy floral fruity and it's long lasting so if you want me to review this oh it's got coconut oh lord toasted coconut guys i'm intrigued i am intrigued but if you want me to review it let me know and i will buy it <laughs> and i will review it for you guys it's night time so I am going to share my scent of the night. I'm going to shower after this. <laughs> and I'm going to go with my Sticky Dates by Lush. And then I'm going to follow it up with my Body Scrub by Lush. It's also Sticky Dates. But check this out, guys. Check this out. Look at the shimmer in there. Like, this is a limited edition. So if you go to Lush, if you can order it online, get this. It's a Body Scrub. I have loads of of things by lush if you guys want me to share my lush collection sprays skincare um body scrub body wash let me know comment it down below i will absolutely love to do that and then once i'm done with all of that i'm going to moisturize my skin with the sticky dates lotion another one that is a limited edition please run don't walk because 
if you like toffee if you like vanilla if you like caramel if you like gourmand but in the freshest most lightest way this is absolutely amazing so once i've gone in with that i'm just gonna spray very lightly my jardins de misfa this is literally rose and dates it's very sweet it's also very light it's a perfume you can wear all year round it is so divine i am incredibly obsessed but little for tonight because i'm going to bed i don't really want my perfume to overpower my um, my nap so yeah i'm going to wear that as my scent of the night so let's move on to the perfumes i feel like i'm gonna split this into uh, a four category i'm gonna start with the feminine perfumes because i feel like i'm a feminine woman i love feminine perfumes i like sweet perfumes i just like fun flirty sexy type of perfumes now i've got two options here i've got oriana by performs the mali now this is your um citruses um chantilly cream a marshmallow orange blossom divine divine so so sweet and marshmallowy and cozy and comforting at the same time it's flirty it's perfect for daily wear it's perfect for a brunch date it's perfect for a date night as well in the summertime i highly recommend it however it's pricey so if you wanted something a little bit cheaper you can go for the valentino pink pp now this is very very similar to oriana but it's more fruity floral whereas this is more fruity floral with an edge fruity floral with a bit of an attitude this uh more rounder more just better to be honest but this is not that far behind um it's giving a sweet scent it's very girly it's it's very fun the only thing that gets on my nerves and this is such a tiny thing but i just want to give you a little bit of a criticism is this <laughs> packaging this right here the um sprayer why is it black why couldn't it be pink it just feels off but i know it's a minute thing but i'm really i'm really strange like that i just feel like it doesn't belong to this bottle but anyhow if you like oriana by perform somali you're gonna love this fruity feminine sweet amazing um so now we move on to a more tropical kind of scent and i've got two options here for you i have Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford and I also have Iced Star by Mugler. Unfortunately, this one has been discontinued, but I'm still going to talk about it because I feel like some of you have this in your collection and it's still possible to get this um, on a third party website, maybe, maybe on eBay, please do your research. But I feel like if you really want to find this, you probably would. This is literally pina colada in a bottle. This is pineapple and coconut. This perfume is so addictive. It almost quite drinkable i feel like you can wear this on a holiday on a beach holiday on on a summer night on a on a spring night it's so amazing and the longevity on this is literally all day long now solid blanc on the other side is more of a floral solar tuberosey kind of scent now i didn't know this had tuberose because i don't like tuberose but because of the way the tuberose and the coconut is mixed in here it just smells very 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 expensive it almost smells like a super expensive suntan lotion is giving a very bright and uplifting vibe i absolutely love it it's not blind by safe because i've heard people not like it and i actually went through a phase where i couldn't wear this i felt like Maybe I was pregnant or something because when I was pregnant, my, 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 my nose changed completely. There are certain perfumes I still can't wear to this day since I had my children. Um, so I went through a phase where this wasn't really what I wanted, but I'm back to falling in love with it now. And I think it's amazing. I feel like the longevity is really, really good. But this has been sitting in my collection for a while. So it's macerated and it has a better longevity, scent profile, amazing, compliment magnet. I'm obsessed. So these will be my sort of spring, summer, tropical vibe type of perfumes. And now we move on to the vanilla. Like you cannot go wrong with vanilla. I'm going to first start with Nebras by Letafa. Just so you guys know, I am going to speak about Nebras in probably every single video. I couldn't believe this was a Middle Eastern perfume. Yes, maybe I'm shallow. 
I am just not a Middle Eastern perfume girl. And I know a lot of people here have jumped on that Middle Eastern bandwagon. And that's not me. The few Middle Eastern perfumes I have, I love. I want to explore. But I want to explore knowing that I'm going to actually wear the perfume, not just buy it and review it for the sake of use. I'm not about that life. You guys already know how I am. But Nebras, I have a backup bottle. Nebras is a, a, a chocolatey vanilla. It's so beautiful. It's very sweet, but it's not cloying. This is so refined. This is marvelous. Like I, it's buttery as well. I'm just obsessed with it. Like, I love Vanilla 28 by Kayali and I use it all the time, but I've packed up Vanilla 28 for now and I've just been obsessing over Nebras by Latafa. I feel like it's another vanilla you can wear all year round. It's beautiful. A more expensive alternative would be um, Oduel by Diptyque. Now, this one is a green, sweet, buttery vanilla. It's quite green, which I feel kind of grounds it and stops it from being too much because vanilla sometimes can just be either bland or a bit much, a bit too sweet, a bit cake-like. This is just perfect. It's got a really perfect balance. And I feel like even if you don't love vanilla, you would love this. Now, there are two types of eau de wells. There's the eau de toilette and there's the eau de parfum, which is this one. I prefer this one all day, every day. The eau de toilette does not last on me. Like, it's, it disappears like a cologne would. Like, 10, 15 minutes, I can't smell it. But with this one... I can actually smell it on myself for the whole day. I think it's amazing. These two, for vanilla picks, you cannot go wrong with them. Now, we we'll move on to the super, super floral scent. And I'm going to start with My Way by Giorgio Armani. Now, this one has a very heavy dose of tuberose. But this is tuberose that is bubblegummy. But it's not immature. It's a sweet bubblegummy floral scent it has a bit of fruitiness in the opening it's got a little bit of freshness it's not as fresh as the original the original is okay i am not the biggest fan of the original however it would be seen as a more spring summer scent but i feel like you can wear this one too mm, during the spring and summer out of all the flankers of my way intense is my favorite the others are lovely as well to be honest with you guys the line, My Way line, is really, really lovely. They are crowd-pleasing perfumes, but they are a little bit higher than your average fruity floral. It has, they have a bit of a, like a really good quality to them. As I said, this one is my favorite. If you like a bubblegummy tuberose, you like florals, you like a little bit of fruitiness, you are going to enjoy this perfume. Another option um, of florals is a perfume that I discovered during the pandemic. And I have been, it's literally been in and out of my collection. And it's by a brand called Bully1803. And this is Eau de Triple Tuberose, I think it's called. Not you. Eau de Eau Triple Tuberose de Mexique. Basically, this is a water-based perfume that smells unreal. Now, if you like tuberose, but in the lightest, most prettiest form, together with vanilla like a very simple almost like bakery type of vanilla and add a little bit of clove for a tiny um spiciness to it to kind of zhuzh up the perfume this is it if you have sensitive skin this is the perfume for you this perfume comes up a milky it looks milky when you spray it so maybe i should actually show you guys right so i've done it off camera but i'll just show you anyway so you guys can see you can see it's got like a, a milky milky texture to it which i really really like it's different isn't it it's actually really different but it's because it's a water-based perfume like if you like a very sweet and addictive tuberose this is definitely the perfume to get your nose on if you've got sensitive skin it's amazing i love the way that this smells longevity on this is absolutely unreal i got mine from selfridges in store i'm going to check if it's online if it is i will link it um in my description box below but if not just leave the details on there maybe you can reach out to the brand directly and see if they can send it to you um but i really really enjoy this perfume so i've got two more perfumes to go and we are doing the fruity perfumes now kicking it off actually finishing it off with a very good girl by carolina herrera listen to me this is the best very good girl this is 
so beautiful i love the bottle like i feel like some people think this bottle is tacky i really don't think so i don't see the tackiness is just kind of sexy in my opinion anyway now if you like delina by perform somali you are going to really love this because this is delina but friendly delina has that lychee rhubarb mix that just makes it so so sour but it's not like this in this perfume like this has lychee as well i believe there's rose but you get a sweeter lychee you get a juicier fruitier so much more friendlier and addictive lychee in the opening of this perfume i believe the same perfumer made this and delina not missing much um if you don't have delina you can just get this instead it's much cheaper super super likable perfect for this time of the year this is literally an eight to ten hour perfume and it does gather a lot of compliments and last but not least is Cassili by performs the mali now this one does not get spoken about a whole lot and i don't know why like i've had this perfume for maybe a couple of years and i've barely worn it only because i just i'm so fixated on the delinas like i'm just stuck with the delina perfumes but i feel like this year i'm definitely gonna give my attention to Cassili. now this is your um frangipani your it's got a little bit of rose it does have tonka bean in the base you get um red berries i think and plum you get a lot of those tropical type notes that just makes this stand out from the crowd i love this it's perfect for this time of the year i would not touch Cassili if it's not spring and summer it just gives that bright uplifting fresh amazingness that i love about this perfume and i feel like it doesn't get enough accolades but this year and beyond i'm definitely gonna wear this perfume a whole lot the weather is getting warmer here in london fingers crossed it stays that way if it does i'm definitely wearing Cassili to work like this week i think is absolutely divine so my lovelies that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching comment down below your absolute favorite from this list like what perfume is your favorite or which one intrigues you the most comment it all down below thank you once again for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye